from getting arrested for drunken teaching to taping a student's mouth shut for coughing in class, we take a look at the 20 worst teachers of all time. Number 20. James Giannopoulos sexted with a student. Veteran middle school teacher James Giannopoulos was pulled out of his Arizona classroom for allegedly exchanging sexts with a former student. Investigators' suspicions were confirmed when they found hundreds of rapey text messages that the 61-year-old exchanged with that female student, who authorities say was under the age of 15. Many of them were focused on offering and or soliciting sex with the girl. Number 19. The teacher who attached McDonald's job applications to failed tests. As if failing a test in school wasn't bad enough, a teacher decided to attach job applications for McDonald's to the failed tests from her students. The teacher obviously went too far and made the parents of these children very angry, which is understandable. This is basically an insult to all McDonald's employees all over the world. Number 18. Teresa Gilmet Badger laced a potluck dinner with pot. Northern California elementary school teacher Teresa Gilmet Badger attended a potluck dinner for teachers, hosted by one of her colleagues. What she didn't tell the other attendees was that there'd be a special ingredient in her dish. Several guests reported feeling sick later that evening. Two of them even sought treatment at the hospital, where blood tests showed that there were massive amounts of THC in their bloodstreams. Number 17. The teacher who got arrested for drunken teaching. California teacher Tanya Neff was arrested for allegedly teaching her class while drunk. Neff, 47, was arrested after school administrators contacted police to tell them that Neff was showing signs of being intoxicated on campus at Toro Canyon Middle School in the town of Thermal in Southern California. When police arrived, Neff was being treated by the school nurse. Police believe she had taken prescription pills in combination with the alcohol. Number 16. Jennifer King Forsh is accused of forcing a student to clean a urinal with his bare hands. Florida elementary school teacher Jennifer King Forsh doesn't think there's anything wrong with exposing a child to a little urine. Authorities got pissed off when she allegedly ordered one of the 10-year-old students to unclog the drain of a urinal using his bare hands. Only problem? Another boy's pee was in there, and the soap dispenser was empty. Number 15. The teacher who hit a boy with a Pritt stick until his thumb bled. A teacher attacked a special needs pupil with a Pritt stick, making his hand bleed. Linda May had injured the 12-year-old boy after he hit his desk in anger while he was using the glue. She took the Pritt stick and hit him, leaving his thumb bleeding. I slammed my hand on the table and it hit the teacher's wrist, the special needs pupil told. Miss May retaliated and went for my fingers three times. Number 14. Michael Lukey masturbated furiously in the hallway. A faculty member spotted Lukey sitting in the hallway and thought he was hurt. Upon closer inspection, she realized the 72-year-old had his hands in his pants and was taking little Jimmy Johnson to school. Surveillance videos at the Connecticut school formed the report. Sadly, at least six students witnessed Lukey masturbating furiously in the hallway before school officials removed him from the campus. Number 13. The school teacher who sprayed children who smelt of curry with air freshener. Teacher Elizabeth Davy sprayed air freshener on Asian and Indian children if they smelled of curry in the mornings. Miss Davies was accused of humiliating children aged between three and six by using the aerosol on them in her nursery class. The 48-year-old was said to have told Bangladeshi children who smelled of onions or curry, there is a waft coming in from paradise before blasting the air freshener. Number 12. Andrea Cardosa admitted to molesting a former student on YouTube. It took Jamie Carrillo 16 years to confront the teacher who molested her, starting at the age of 12. But when she did, it was worth her many years of heartache. Carrillo, now 28, confronted her former teacher, Andrea Cardosa, and posted the incriminating exchange on YouTube. Carrillo's bravery resulted in 16 felony sexual abuse charges for Cardosa for sexually assaulting two female students between the years of 1997 and 2010. Number 11. The teacher who took photos of young pupils' hairstyle and posted them on Facebook for friends to mock. A teacher took photos of one of her seven-year-old pupils so she could post them on her Facebook page for her friends to mock the girl's hairstyle. Ukayla Lofton, a student at Overton Elementary School in Chicago, turned up for her school photo on Picture Day with Jolly Rancher candies tied to her braids after she had seen the style in a magazine. 
Her computer teacher asked her to pose for a photo with her braids hanging around her face and told her, my husband is not going to believe this. Number 10. Drew Dayhart was accused of putting a hit out on a 7th grader. A veteran teacher, Drew Dayhart, was fired for putting a threatening hit out on a student. The Florida teacher allegedly instructed a group of 8th grade boys to beat up 7th grader Rodravius Williams to teach him a lesson. The boys ranging in age from 11 to 15 took Williams out in the hallway and tortured him. As he was being pummeled, Dayhart reportedly said, I got my 8th grade boys on you. You're not so tough now. Number 9. The teacher who accidentally gave a self-made sex tape to 5th graders. A class of 5th graders in California got a shocking crash course on the birds and the bees courtesy of their teacher, Crystal DeFonte. With an X-rated home video she accidentally included in a DVD of classroom memories. The error was not caught until after the DVDs were distributed to the students and their families. Parents from Sacramento say the woman is a good teacher that made an honest but embarrassing mistake. Number 8. William Potter II copping a feel because he was horny. Self-proclaimed horny old man William Potter II allegedly told one of his female students that he could have a good time with her if they had more time. The 69-year-old Oklahoma high school teacher admitted to telling the same student that he liked her breasts and touched them in a lewd and sexual manner three different times. According to the victim, Potter propositioned her, saying he would make a deal with her if she would make a deal with him. Number 7. The substitute teacher who told pupils that there is no Santa. A teacher had been banned from a primary school after telling children Father Christmas does not exist. The female supply teacher told pupils at Blackshaw Lane Primary in Royton Oldham that it was parents, not Santa, who left their gifts on Christmas Day. Which of course is not true, kitties. Several parents complained to the head teacher, who has since accepted an apology from the teacher concerned. But head Angela McCormick has since told the agency she does not want the teacher to work there again. Number 6. Daniel Connor Willowglade pawned band instruments to buy heroin. Band teacher Daniel Connor Willowglade made a racket at Kashequa Elementary Middle and High School when she confessed to stealing $3,000 worth of French horns, trombones, flutes, and other instruments and selling them off to pawn shops with the help of her boyfriend, Nicholas Bonk. The money from the school band heist was used to buy heroin. After Connor Willowglade made bail for her thievery, she was arrested again that same week for possession of heroin. Number 5. The teacher who published an erotic book featuring some of her students. An English teacher has been sacked after writing a racy novel which detailed her teenage pupils' sexual fantasies. Lenora Rustamova was suspended from her post prompting mass demonstrations by pupils and a campaign by parents to have her reinstated. But after a disciplinary hearing, governors have now decided to fire the teacher anyway. Number 4. Catherine Murray was caught in bed with her 15-year-old student. In a beyond awkward scenario, 28-year-old Texas middle school teacher Catherine Murray was caught in bed with her 15-year-old student by the boy's 12-year-old brother. According to an affidavit, the younger brother told cops he went into his older brother's bedroom and observed a tan bra and a used condom on the floor. He also spotted his brother in bed and the outline of another person under the covers, completely covered by the bedding. Number 3. The teachers who gave lap dances during a school event. The two teachers, one of whom was identified by students as phys ed instructor Christy Fitchner, have been sent home without pay after the spirit dance in front of 100 students as young as 13 years old. The routine began with a female teacher, sporting pigtails, seated on a chair, her legs spread and hips gyrating. Bumping beats played in the background and the male teacher approached between her legs, his hips swiveling to the beat. Number 2. Jennifer Christine Fitchner aborted a baby she conceived with her student. Not only did Florida high school teacher Jennifer Fitchner sleep with one of her students, she got pregnant with his child. The 29-year-old English teacher was arrested after the student's mother found incriminating text messages. According to reports, the couple who Fitchner claims were in love met for sex early in the morning over the course of four months. Their clandestine trysts resulted in the love child that Fitchner aborted. Number 1. The teacher who taped her student's mouth shut. A mother of a Broward Middle School student got upset after her 13-year-old daughter told her a teacher placed tape over her mouth. I came home from a hard day's work to hear that my daughter had her mouth taped up unwillingly, said Leah Friel. Jaslyn Friel attends New Renaissance Middle School. 
She said her teacher placed tape over her mouth. She asked me to stop talking, and then a couple of minutes went by, and I started to talk again. And she came to me and put it on my mouth, Jaslyn said. I had to cough, so I took the first piece off. So she went to her desk, she took out another piece, and she put it on my mouth again, making this teacher one of the worst of all time.